Hey guys, what is up? It is the Ghast again, guy. Back again with some Pokemon Galaze. Last time we left off, we just defeated this asshole Silver in his bullshit gym. And this time, we're gonna be heading over to, uh. Shit, Mahogany Town. <laughs> That's it. Alright, so instead of walking all the way like an idiot, I forgot that I could just go teleport to Etrick City. And I believe we should just be able to go to the right. Now I'm kind of weirded out because so far no story has taken place and I don't know if it's just because I haven't gone to a specific place. I haven't really been told to go anywhere in specific. It's dyed blue? Why is the water dyed blue? I mean, here's a place where we would find a Suicune encounter. Why is this place covered in snow? Um, I, I really don't want to go through the cave. I have Surf, I might as well use it. So, let's get to this... I just realized, like, I'm recording these episodes in bulk, but the sad part is, we're almost at the end of the game. Like, let's look, look at our trader case. Alright, we have five of apparently the seven badges in the Johto League. And... We're, we're just really close. I was gonna say, why is it all ice here? But then I realized this is where the ice gym is. Even though it wasn't snowing here in the original game. Um, this town is a lot quieter back in the day. We used to have an active gym, but not anymore. Wait, you don't have a gym? Have you visited the Lake of Rage a few years ago? Someone found a red Gyarados there. We should go to my grandma's shop. She sells all sorts of neat stuff you can find anywhere. I can't find anywhere. Alright, what do you got? Um, uh, Walking Youngin, would you like to take our wares? Uh, Heal Powder... Uh, lava Cookies, I like. I'd like to hear a little bit about our shop, yeah. Uh, all was peaceful in Johto. We had adhered to rumors that an awful Team Rocket, but we never suspected they visited here of all places. They kidnapped us and set us in shops... Set up a shop... Uh, shut up the shop as a facade. They were trying to evolve Pokemon and using radio waves. The uh, stairs over there lead to their hideout, but safety, nobody's allowed down there. Uh, now wasn't that a grand story? Feel free to get your Team Rocket souvenir here. Did you try a lava cookie? It's a cost-effective way of healing Pokemon with status ailments. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, you know what? Yeah. That man stalked me into it. I don't know who he is or where he came from, but he talked me into buying 30 lava cookies. Don't tell me how to spend my money. <laughs> So if this is no longer a gym, like, do we come here for no reason? Closed indefinitely. Mahogany Town Gym is permanently closed. What the fuck? So I guess the only thing we have to do is go to Lake of Rage. I mean, oh, this is where I usually caught like all my original like Pokemon I would turn into Amphros. Is you know, this was the spot for wanted to get a Marit man. Are you going to see the Lake of Rage 2? I mean, I ha really have no other choice! Right. Garchomp, let's hit you with that Brick Break. And Gabite. I guess the last one's gonna be Gibble? Nope, Garchomp. I, I, I don't know how I feel about I, I, I love... Garchomp as a Pokemon, like, but I don't like his design. It looks weird. It looks like he has like Princess Leia buns on his head. Furret. Wow. I, I really like Furret. I compared to like Zigzagoon and all the other like beginning normal type Pokemon. I think Furret is probably one of my favorites. All right, Graveler, you're a freaking wimp. So I guess the next place we have. We still don't have Fury Swipes. I think that's what we needed to get to the next area, but... We have yet to find a TM for it, or just a Pokemon that... Maybe you find a Meow somewhere, I guess? Lake of Rage. Alright. So we finally made it. Fisherman's Hut. Can we get a new fishing rod here? I like the designs of these houses. Uh, sometimes you may see a patch of water bubbling. They say that's a special Pokemon lives in those patches. What? The fish here aren't biting, so I'm down for a battle. Uh, uh, okay. 
Earthquake! Drop it like an earthquake! Um... Alright, let's get that out of the way. Sorry you're fast. I, I'm gonna keep apologizing because I know it's something I shouldn't be doing, but... I, it's just... I, I don't like fast forwarding, it's just that these things are really stupid. So, am I supposed to... I can't tell if these are bubbling patches of water or what. Like, if I throw a fishing rod down on here... If I, do I even have a fishing rod? I'm pretty sure I don't even have a fishing rod. Um, yeah, we don't even have a fishing rod, so what's the point? There's really no point to coming up here if we have no fishing rod. Um... Uh, let's just go back to Mahogany Town, I guess. I didn't swipe my card there, that's... I'm super smart, guys. Right, so, you know what? I'm an idiot. Because we have these super recalls for a fucking reason, and I just keep ignoring them. Right, so let's just go, I guess. There's nothing for us here. The night just want to... I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull up this guide that I had on you. I think I have it still. I think I might have bookmarked it. Alright, I mean, shall. Uh, what's, what was with the idea? Why are, you, why are your real arms just floppy noodles? Like, what design when, like, what design choices went into making your arms floppy noodles? Uh, bookmark bar, games, and then... I honestly don't even know if I pulled up the right guide. So let's... I guess... I, I don't... Like, I feel like we're missing something, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know. So, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, back, and... Just... Where's the thing this... Then I already said... Um, there was something mentioned here about Violet City, and I don't... I don't remember this. But what's the says? Oh yeah, I remember this. All right, so a Shriek City. I already done that. Um, what do we do after? Not Golden Rod City. Not Azalea Town. Um. Apparently, after Azalea Town, I got to North to make a custom Pokemon for coins. Um, but you also let you stuff on the battle. But I'm gonna teach you. Right. Head over to the house of the east of the gym. The old man will teach you Fury Cutter for the bamboo from before. Alright. So that's... Weird. So, Azalea. Or... What is it called? Yeah, Azalea. Did I... Am I an idiot? Did I just, like... Oh yeah, there it is. So... This guy should teach someone Fury Cutter, right? Um, pass me on. Tell me when. Would you like to learn Fury Cutter? Yes. Which one should learn it? Fuck. Um, I guess Musashi. Which one should be forgotten. Bug type. Well, let's get rid of Earthquake. Um, just for now. When we have it on TM, we could always teach it to him later. Um, it, it worked. To a T, your Pokemon are excellent pupils. You can now move that thick bamboo if you know how. All right, so now we have to go clear the bamboo. So that was your Olivine. I I love the music of Olivine City. It's just amazing. I'm not sure if this is the original Olivine City song or what, but I, I just love it. Um, alright, so let's head over to, uh, White, uh, Whitewood? Uh, no, we've never been over here, so... Maybe if we be sliced, would you like to use Fury Cutter? Yes, Musashi used Fury Cutter. Can I can I cure, can I cut all this off? <laughs> uh, this kind of is satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. This maybe was thick, just, you know, whatever. Are you shitting me? 
Um, uh, go north and then east and then north. Follow the path north again and we can keep going in there. Where is... Wait, oh. I thought I would have to cut through all of this. I was gonna be fucking pissed. So I feel like the badge that we got for, um, silver... I feel like we weren't supposed to go there yet, but at the same time, no one stopped us and told us we couldn't. Um, I, I believe it's not the first time ever we've actually played up, or we've been through Pokemon games where we can get the badges out of order. I'm, I'm pretty sure in uh, the first Pokemon game you can get them out of order, but I played through, or like, I did a randomizer just like Nuzlocke for my own, like, fun on Pokemon Fire Red. Um, a while ago, like, far back, I actually played it on my homebrew channel on my Wii. And, like, I, I don't know if I did the gyms out of order or what, but basically the game broke to the point where I had to use walkthrough walls or something just to move on in the game. Um, I don't remember what exactly happened. Um, I think it was a gym or something. Oh, I couldn't get into one of the gyms for some reason. Uh, no, Team Rocket did not leave uh, the area where Silphco was, even though I've already cleared it out. So, in front of the Silphco building, there was still a Team Rocket member, and in front of Sabrina's gym, there was still a Silphco member. So I had to, like, I had to use the walkthrough walls glitch, or else I wouldn't have been able to play through the game. And even after that, I lost my starter Pokemon, which was Elvis, the, uh, the Nido King. So, we're going into this. I, I want to teach Chomper Ice Beam. I really do. So let's slap Dragon Breath down. The Mega, let's just use Crunch and get this over with. You know, I'm looking forward. His attack, his, his attack, special attack, and defense, or like health is amazing. Shit. Um, you know, I'm kind of curious to see what Pokemon we find in here, so let's just roll on this one patch of grass. Ooh, Drapion. Now, if these were Ariados instead, I'd be all for that. Can we find Ariados? No. Alright, because I would be all for replacing uh, Yellow Diamond with Ariados. And then, I believe the only Pokemon we need to get rid of on our team that... Actually, you know what? Yeah, the only Pokemon we have on our team that's not that's from the original squad is Spectre. And so far, I don't know if we're going to take him off. Um, it's battles. Where, are, where am I? I don't even know where I am. You're freaking calling me Squirt. Get out of here, I'm not ready. I think Fracture looks pretty cool, but nothing's as cool as the black and red Haxorus that you get at the if you 100% the Pokedex in black and white. Or is it black and white or black and white too? Either way, I, I, I had him, I did it, I've gotten him, and I still actually have him to this day. It's probably one of my, my, my well, I'm it's probably one of my most proudest achievements. Because I think that's like the one time you're actually rewarded for completing the Pokedex, you know? Like, you complete the Pokedex, here's a shiny Pokemon you can only get by completing the Pokedex. Well, I mean, you could find one in the wild, but this was literally just a wild freaking shiny Haxorus that was set up in an event, so... Ooh, I can get a Gliscor. Kinda tempted. Um, blanks? Yeah, alright, so... I'm tempted to actually get a Crobat to replace, uh... To replace Spectre. But that's gonna take a long time since Crobat only evolves by... You only get a Crobat by friendship. Ninjask. It's, it's weird seeing a wild Ninjask. I like Rapidash. Rapidash is pretty cool. I think I like shiny Rapidash because of the, like, silver flames that flow off of its mane. I didn't even know you were training. Can't you handle a little battle? Uh, maybe. Fury Cutter. I forgot Bug was super effective to dark. Well then. Where? I want to kind of know where like his name comes from. Uh, Psychic type. My fighting types don't stand a chance. Psychic types, you say? We still can't change our Pokemon in this area. Um, I saw you eyeing me. 
Lady, I don't know if you know this, but I don't swing that way. The fair crit is kind of okay. It's not a bad move, but it's not, not something I'm using all the time. Oh, it's Whitney. Uh, my grandmother buried me. It's very here, but don't worry, she's gone somewhere better. I just come to give my respects. What's this? It's a tombstone. Rip GHS, it says. Uh, GHS. You can't do this to me. Let me. You can't do this to me. Let me in at once. Um, you may be an elite former, but you can't disrupt our service in this manner. Please be respectful and leave immediately. That's no good. Chance, if there was some perfect person I want needed right now. I haven't heard from Jasmine for days. I was getting worried, you know? She wasn't under gym either, so I tracked her down to the Church of Alf. Plus, that BS guy is the pastor here. But I said some rather shameful things in the middle of a service. Hehe. <laughs> Please, Chance, you gotta help me find Jasmine. I'll help you if it break too. Please, I, I'm still missing my badge from Jasmine. Uh, you wanna help with that? No, well, you probably can't give me a badge that doesn't belong to your gym, but I kinda need that. You know, to get into the Johto League. And while we're here, let's swipe our card. And uh, Brian's retracted the bridge for his gym. He might be trying to focus on something. Yeah, uh, my Jolteon and I are going to take down Brian. He won't stand a chance. I don't see why Eevee makes a fuss over evolution. Not only is it fun, but now I'm a badass electric type. Damn right. Um, there's a man around here who can teach Pokemon to move Whirlpool. Huh. Uh, you know, I've got a Rancor in the Sea Nation west of here. No legend that Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres live there. So we need to go to Rancor anyway. A spiritually cleansed city. Oh, it's been so I kind of want to see someone walk away. Chuck and Pierce were once the Jota Gym leaders too, but they decided to give them, go on their own routes. Okay, thanks for telling me, but where'd that come from? Have you ever been to Evergreen Town? There's a new town just like us, just west of Cinderwood. Uh, Whitewood City is a pretty quiet place. It's the ideal place to bring up our daughter. I see dead people. I want to travel to Goldenrod, but my parents won't let me. Your parents are scrubs. I guess it's this guy? Did you know that Whirlpool is used as an HMU? I still have an old copy of the HM from years ago. Would you like me to use it on your Pokemon? Sure. Who should I teach you to? Uh, Chomper. I mean, I know Whirlpool is a booty move, but we kind of need it. Don't we? You know what? No. This is why we have a tentacruel. Okay. So, I'm going to... Right, so it's going to be the end of the episode, so we're not going to head into the church yet. But, we can... Wow, my voice just cracked. What the fuck? Summary. I'm pretty sure we already taught him waterfall and dive and surf. So, might as well. This is uh, no is going to be our water HM slave. And he's basically an ATV. Yeah, let's teach it to so no. No will learn that until the bubble beam. Um, it worked, this HM still has it. You can use some moves across whirlpools. But there's a lot less to do these days. You need a rising badge to use them on the side of battle, however. Missing the rising badge is the badge we get for here. And I'm pretty sure we don't have it already, right? Alright, we got Night Badge, Fog, Hive, Plane, and Zephyr. Alright, so no, we don't have it. So. No, well, I'm okay. Let's get, let's get Yellow Diamond back on the squad. For those of you who don't know, um. Uh. Yellow Diamond is a character from Steven Universe. Um, the reason I called Amp Frost Yellow Diamond is because uh, there's a scene where uh, I, I guess an old ally. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, there's a gem called Peridot in Steven Universe, and Peridot used to work for Yellow Diamond, and she was supposed to go to Earth to help destroy it, but she ended up in return. The spoilers! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Huge spoiler alert! I'll put it like 10 seconds early, just in case. Um, but... Peridot ended up liking Earth and basically became a crystal gem. And she called Yellow Diamond a claw to her face and she made this weird face 
Rorish her neck backed up like a giraffe. And Lukajin had a bunch of uh, Pokemon named after some of the diamond or crystal gems or diamonds in general from uh, or g gems in general from uh, Steven Universe. And I went ahead and photoshopped their faces onto uh, like I photoshopped them. Like I made Graveler, Jasper, and I did one other one, but I'm not sure. But I also turned Ampharos, who she called P Ram, into Yellow Diamond. Well, more like I put Yellow Diamonds. Body. I put P. Ram's face on Yellow Diamond, but either way, that's the end of the episode. I hope you guys had a great time. Please leave a like, comment down below what you're looking forward to in the future. If you, what's your favorite part of this adventure been so far? What are you looking forward to? And subscribe for more content just like this. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye bye.